This audio fiction may contain elements not suitable for children. Listener discretion is advised. On the snowy flats of Dead Man's Glacier, ships anchored in the frigid northern waters. A light snowfall had begun. The group of assassins and their new tagalong stepped onto the dock. Now, you realize that there is no turning back once we leave the harbor town. Yes, I know. And she's our wonderful new addition, aren't you, love? Mm-hmm. I can't wait. She absolutely must join or be killed. You realize that? She wants to be an assassin. She'll be fine. Zamira begins preening Ramya's appearance. Ah. <sighs> Any chance either of you feels up for talking sense into her? We're talking about sealing the fate of a teenage girl. You want us to break through that crazy with logic and facts? There is no way I'm even going to attempt that. We're agreed. The truth will not work. She has a new younger sister. We're assassins, but that doesn't make us amoral. Doesn't it, though? Why would it? Probably that whole killing people for money thing. <sighs> All right. We take a teenage girl to our leader, and we let her take the initiation rites for becoming an assassin. Were we ever going to do anything else? No. This is what I want. Dash L begins walking. <laughs> so much for that last semblance of a soul. Two weeks ago, in the middle of a lone home in a forest. What do you want us to do? She was taken from her family, traded, bought and sold, and used as a warlord's wife would be. Certainly. You don't want the rest of her life gone to her being an assassin. Why would that happen? That's what will happen to her. Zamira wants to bring her back with us. The girl reminds her of her sister. I am not about to be another abductor to that girl. So you won't take her? Not if she doesn't want me to take her in. I will ask her. And when she agrees, I'll bring her to you. If. If she agrees. You're assuming she doesn't want to take out her rage on her captors. That she doesn't want to eviscerate everything around her. That all of her self-hatred and anger will just go away because she lives in a serene forest. It won't. Not all of us want to think that one bad incident paints the remainder of a life. Some people want it to. Some people let it. I'm not one of them. Redemption has to be a real possibility. It is. But absolution is something you must want. And for most, that requires a catharsis. A man steps outside. He looks at Kezia and then the stranger. Is everything all right? Everything is fine. Since when do you keep a man around? Since he kept me from dying at the hands of a robber. Huh. Good for you. It's a deal. If she wants to come here, she can. Dashel nods. I will return. I hope within a day. Dashel walks toward the nearby town. Nuada watches the man disappear into the foliage. Who is that? You don't want to know. Really? I trust your judgment on that, but you hardly seem the type to our friends. <sighs> I'm not. Later that night, Dashel sat awake in the tavern. He and the others were only staying for the night and taking the opportunity to be out of the wilderness for a night. The heavy presence of Tahir clerics in the small town made the group uncomfortable. Much to his surprise, the simple motion of him shifting his weight in the chair woke the young girls Amira had taken in. Ramya slid out of bed. She sat beside Dashel. She stared out the window. You don't have to do this. I can't sleep. I meant, come with us. What else am I supposed to do? Go home? Find a new home. Live with people. Did Samira tell you what we are? Killers. <sighs> yes. We murder people for money. You don't need to be around that. They killed the man who bought me. I know. Well, one man. I have a friend. She takes in wayward children. So? She will take you. She likes children. And she protects them. So do you. Not like 
that. She actually protects them. She doesn't seek out ways to harm people who happen to hurt children. Is there a difference? You asking me that just proves that you don't understand. Yes, there is a difference. Then what is it? There is protecting the innocent, what my friend does. And then there is punishing the guilty. That is what we do. I'd rather do the second one. No, no you wouldn't. This is horrible. We do awful things, and not always to bad people. Money is money to us. That doesn't sound as bad as going to live somewhere new with people who don't care about me. It's dangerous to assume assassins care about anybody but themselves. But Samira said we're sisters. I don't have a sister, but I want one. Nashel stares with incredulity at the girl. He reached for any argument he could think of, but only one remained that he could imagine her reacting negatively to. We stay up north, in the always cold, snowy climate. I bet it's pretty there. It is. But it's also far colder than anywhere you have ever been. And we cannot live anywhere else. I was living at that camp for several months, and it wasn't that bad. I see. Accepting that logical arguments were not going to change the girl's mind, Dashel gave in. He felt certain that a few days on the tundra would change her mind. Present Day, Dead Man's Glacier Dashel, Zamira, Ashni, Riva, Ramia, and several others stand around in their commander's office. Their commander eyed the young girl with them for a long while before deciding to speak. So, you picked up a child and you realize that she has to either die or become one of us? Yes, Commander. And she wants to become one of us. Is that true? Y yes And none of you object to this? Vesna eyes the group carefully. Another moment of silence hung in the air. Yes, we know that that is our way. We explained that to the girl. And she still wants to be part of the group? Oh, very much! Then I see no reason to not begin the girl's initiation and training. Yes, well, we have not explained how anything works beyond initiation rites or death. So if we may? Of course. She should be prepared for everything that is expected of her. Thank you, Commander. R really? That's it? It is. For now, your group is dismissed. The group members bow and then leave the room. Really? You're letting them go? Just like that? They are recruiting. What more was there to say about the situation? That she's a child, and they never explain where they had gotten her from? Why does any of that matter? And the group settled in a large, open room. They sat at a table, and then they began their preparations of their newest member. There is magic. Only people who bear our mark can enter the area. Your mark? Each of the assassins stood. They moved their clothing aside to reveal an identical tattoo. And if you do not have the mark or are not accompanied by somebody with one, you are repelled by the magical barrier that protects this land. And that's all? No, we have rules to follow. There are many of them, but the most important one is secrecy. Nobody can know we exist. So I can't kill the men? No, oh, no, you can. We just have to train you first. <laughs> oh, okay. Nashel stands and leaves the table. Where are you going? You can all explain everything to her. I'm gonna get her payment and then food for us. All right, you do that. The women continue explaining the intricacies of their brotherhood to the newest initiate. Dashel leaves the immediate area. When he is certain he is alone, he stopped and bowed his head. Oh, by our patron gods. What have we done? 